Freddy's head and put that gun away, Joe. Stop him, Freddy. He can't hear you, Smalley. He's busy singing. Uh, I've been playing you to sleep. Hey, Baker. Baker. He can't hear you neither. We rocked him off long ago. Joe, listen. Don't do it, please. I'll cut the take again any way you say it, but don't push the switch on me. Don't. <laughs> Midnight, the witching hour when the night is darkest, our fears the strongest, and our strength at its lowest end. Midnight, when the graves gape open and death strikes. How? You'll learn the answer in just a minute in Red Wheels. <laughs> And now, Murder at Midnight. Tales of Mystery and Terror by Radio's Masters of the Macabre. Our story by Jack Gordon is Red Wheels. The desert, flat and empty under a heavy night sky. Speeding along its only road is a large bus. Lulled by the hum of the tires, its smooth motion, the passengers sleep. All of them, except one. Shh, Joe. Joe, hey, wake up. Uh, what? I said, wake up. What? Oh, let me alone, will you? Let me sleep, will you? Hey, Joe, you don't think nothing went wrong? You don't, do you? All right, I'm up. You know, kid, you got a face that talks too much. I want to make sure everything's all right, that's all, Joe. I want to make sure. This makes three times tonight you got to make sure. It's starting to get me, see? All right, now, I'll tell you once more. There ain't nobody following us, okay? But they was. They was. You said so yourself. They was at first. That was a couple of days ago. And it was the newspaper said so, not me. Now, will you put that imagination of yours in mothballs? Nobody's following us. Nobody knows we killed them. And if they did, they'd probably be erecting a monument for us back in Denver this minute. So you just turn your nose against the window and watch the desert. Yeah, but... It's pretty sand in the desert. But, Joe, you... Will you turn your nose like I say? Yeah, Joe. You picked your lucky seat. You're in seat seven, ain't you? Yeah, sure, Joe. Well, then turn around. Watch the sand in the desert. That's right. And you found a penny. That's the sign you're always blabbing about. Sitting in seat seven and found a penny. <laughs> Lucky guy, that's you. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, so let me sleep with you. Yeah, that's me, lucky guy. Only I can't rest since that night we gave it to Smalley. Look out of the window, Freddy. Okay. What time is it? It's almost 12. Smalley coming yet? Said he was going to be here at midnight. No, but the cop... What hey, about him? Well, he keeps coming back like he's fishing for something here. Uh, he's just making the rounds. Don't you worry about him. I don't like it, Joe. There's a smell about it. Yeah, it stinks to me, too. Those two guys playing us for suckers. Baker and Smalley, a pair of shovelfoot dopes. Doing a little insurance on their own, and they won't cut us in on the take. Okay. Hey, maybe... Maybe we just ought to go away, Joe. Set up our own system somewhere, else. And let them get away with a double cross? You kidding? It's a range perfect, ain't it? Baker out like a light in the other room from that Mickey. We use his gun, and we're a thousand miles away when he fries for killing his best friend. Hey, yeah, but Joe, don't forget me. I'm a jinx, I tell you. It'll backfire. Everything happens to me. L let's let it alone. <laughs> just stroke that lucky rabbit's foot you bought today, and I'll do the worry. Hey, what's that? What? Smalley. Yeah, yeah, all right. Now, just, just get to that piano and play him a little lullaby. Hey, Joe, the cop's gone. Get to the piano, I said. Yeah. Maybe my luck switched because of the rabbit's foot. Hi, brother. Hello, Smalley. We've been waiting for you. That's good. Is it? It's not so good. We ain't happy. No? No. The whole thing grizzles me. That's too bad. Where's Baker? Do you think we'd sit around like a couple of stumps and let you collect all that protection without a peep? I think you're getting too tall, Joe. <laughs> Only five foot eight. That's four inches and 40 pounds weaker than you, Smalley. 
Just the same, Freddy and me. We want our share. You got what's coming to you. But you ain't got what's coming to you, Smalley. You see? This cuts you down to size. Put that away, Joe. Now you're 40 pounds, 4 inches. They'll make no difference. I say put that gun away, Joe. Stop him, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy can't hear you, Smalley. He's busy singing. Uh, I mean, playing you to sleep. Hey, Baker. Baker. <laughs> he can't hear you neither. We rocked him off long ago. Joe, listen, now, don't do it. I'll, I'll cut the take again. Any way you save it, don't push the switch on me. Don't. <coughs> Keep playing, Freddy, like nothing's happened. Oh, I, I, I didn't figure on this kind of a cut. <sighs> I said keep playing, Freddy. Nothing's happened. I can't. All right, then just keep stroking your rabbit's foot. And it'll be okay. Let's see now. Oh, let's get out of here. It's only half done, kid. Let's plant the gun on Baker before we blow. Okay. There, he's beginning to stir in there. Let's get out of here. Hey, see, see, I told you to cop downstairs. Oh, easy, kid, easy. That's perfect. Now they'll catch Baker just as he's getting up. So through the window and let the cops take over from here on out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, kid, out you go. Come on. Come on. And a boy. Is it breaking the door down? You keep stroking that rabbit's foot. You'll wear it out. <laughs> hey, the cop got in. So now we got a grand sand seat to watch the go with Baker right in the middle. Oh, no. No, Joe, let's beat it while we can. What, 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 what do we want to look for trouble for? Come on. Let's... This I got to see. <laughs> Here he comes, the lunk. Staggering out of the bedroom. Is he dopey from that stuff we give him? Jerk. You don't even know he's got that gun we planted on him. Please, Joe, I'm dancing around like crazy inside. Let's get out of here before they decide to look this way. This ain't smart, Joe. <laughs> okay. I've had my fun. Let's blow. <laughs> A lot of money out there. Easy picking. Oh, they'll come after us, Joe. I got a feeling. Don't be a dope. What do they want us for? They got Baker, ain't they? Oh, they'll look for us as witnesses. <laughs> yeah. They know they're well rid of Smalley. All they want is a goat. And we left him in the stable back there. Yeah, but the paper said... Never mind the paper said. Sure, they'd say they want us around. But if we ain't there, we ain't. Yeah. Hey, look, a penny. Pick it up, kid. Yeah. Brings good luck, Joe. You see? <laughs> Now we got nothing to worry about. What time does your next bus leave for L.A., ma'am? One's leaving in about five minutes. Okay, two for L.A. That's 21.5 out of 25. Here you are. Thank you. Come on, kid. Hey, Joe. Yeah? Uh, you got a penny? What for? I want to weigh myself. I'll get a fortune ticket. What about that penny you picked up? Oh, no, Joe. That's a good luck penny. I mustn't spend that. <laughs> okay, here you are. Oh, gee, thanks. What's the good news, kid? Uh, it says... Uh, it says... Okay, so go on. What does it say? Well, it says you're going to take a long, unexpected trip. <laughs> say, that's pretty good. That's right, ain't it? Maybe... Maybe it don't mean that. Maybe it means the cops will get us and... Finish reading it. Okay. It says, you are too easily taken in and influenced by those around you. What are you looking at me for? Uh, oh, nothing. Nothing, Joe. <laughs> Come on, kid. There's our bus pulling in. Get out, huh? Joe, let's wait for the next one, Joe. Are you nuts a three-hour wait? What for? That's got red wheels. <laughs> Pretty, ain't it? Well, red means danger. Let's take the next bus, huh? Oh, you dope. Stroke your rabbit's foot. Oh, but Joe, I got a feeling. Good, so have I. And it says let's get to L.A. Double quick and pick up some of that gold dust. Hey, driver. Yeah? When do we pull into L.A.? Day after tomorrow. About this time. Thanks. Come on, Freddy. The red wheels is on the outside. I, I, okay. Seven and eight. That's us. Give me your bags. I'll yeah. shove it up here. There we are. Joe. Hey, Joe. 
Now what? Hey, you let me let me sit by the window, will you? You can't see the wheels anyway. Yeah, but you... Oh, I get it. It's the number, huh? Yeah. You want the lucky seven. Oh, sure, kid. Sit and see seven if it'll make you happy. <laughs> Red wheels. Red wheels. Red wheels. Red wheels. Hey, are you still up? I wish I could sleep. Oh, look out the window. The night and the sand. You'll not off. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Joe. Out the window. The night and the sand. Night and sand. Night and sand. Sand. Sand like a gray smoke screen. Hiding us from the rest of the world. No eyes watching us We're way away. Red wheels don't mean beans. That's nothing. I'm no pin cushion for that lady luck. She's on my side. I add it all up. Rabbit's foot, that's one. Finding a penny, that's two. And, and seat seven, three. That's three against Red Wheels. <laughs> three against Red Wheels. <laughs> uh, what's that? I oh, know. Oh, it can't be. Hey, Joe. Joe, wake up. Oh, he, he said not to wake him. He said he wanted to sleep. But the bus. The bus. Look. Look, it's still moving, Joe. It's speeding over the great clouds of sand, and the driver's seat is empty. The bus is speeding, and there ain't no driver. <laughs> bus with red wheels on a desert road. Where can a bus be going without a driver? Where would you expect to go after murder at midnight? And now, back to Murder at Midnight and Red Wheels. Back to the bus, speeding through the desert, without a driver. How could a bus move without a driver? It's crazy. Just close your eyes, Freddy. You're dreaming. Now, when you open your eyes again, you'll see. Now, straight ahead and... See? There is a... Ah! No, no. I'm imagining things because I'm scared. Joe. Uh, hey, what's eating you now? Look, Joe, look. Coppers? No, 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 worse. It's this bus. It's moving. Well, what'd you expect? Now, look, Brady Park. Yeah, yeah, that's just the point. Look, straight ahead there. Look. What the devil? That's it, the devil. The devil's riding with us. He's holding the wheel. That's just why we can't see him. You see, there's no driver. Holy smokes, I, I don't get it. What's making it move? <gasps> Something we can't see, Joe. Something. Shut up. The bus has red wheels, Joe, remember? Red burns like fire. Can take you to only one place. That's where we're going. Maybe some of these dopes sleeping can dream a way out. Hey, everybody, wake up! Wake up! What's all the racket? Darling, don't cry. What's the big idea? I'll tell you the big idea. Look. Look straight front and see for yourself. Yeah, well, oh, holy oh, my God. There's no driver. There's my no baby, driver. My baby. What's hey, making it go? Wait a minute, everybody. Don't get excited. What do you mean, don't get excited? Well, if you listen to me, I'll tell you. There wasn't anybody awake. I'll tell you who's driving this bus. It's the devil. And that means, you know where we're going? Hey, you're creating a riot, you idiot. Let me talk. Sure, talk, talk. That's just what we need. This bus is riding us all where we got to do a lot of fast talking. Dead people got to tell why they should be led into heaven or to that other place. Hey, what the devil are you... The devil, see? We talk about him all the time, the devil. That's the guy we're going to have to see, I know. I know there's no other place for me. It must be the same for all of you. Uh, Are you talking with a hat? We're not dead, though, ain't we? Ha! We're on a bus. And the bus has got no driver. And the bus has got red wheels. And if you look outside, you can't see a thing but clouds of sand. Nothing. Nothing, just a bus moving. And if you add up what you did during your lifetime, I'll bet you'll find there was plenty wrong. Hey, you, fat boy. How'd you do it? With an axe, maybe? I don't pay any attention to him, everyone. If you'll just listen to me... you, lady... Small little dame with a gray hair. What's the devil got against you? And you. What's laying so heavy on your chest that you won't let me talk? Yeah. I'll tell you. I was Why up do you the... keep jabbering? Nothing to get excited. Oh. There's plenty to get excited about. Go ahead, kid. Go no, on. no, no, Freddy. 
When someone gives you the green light to yap, that means to shut up. We put on a good show, Joe and me. We did it with music. I say button up. No odds now, Joe. I can yeah. sing in any key. What's the difference now if he is a copper? We're all going to the same place. I say shut up. I played Smelly a lullaby. Joe rocked him to sleep with a bullet. Freddy. With a plain everyday gun, no fancy trimming. You're two for a cent, idiot. Am I, Joe? Am I? Maybe I was once, but no more. I'm not going to take what's around waiting for us. You dopes can stick here like pigs in a slaughter pen if you want, but me, I'm finding a way out. Hey, come back. Hey, stop him, somebody. Hey, stop him. Ah, that did it. Door open just for me. You chumps can fry where you're gone, but not me. Son, stop it. Hey, I made it. I gotta run now. Run. Run. Space. Pack space between me and our devil wings. Space. Oh, I'm getting tired. Yeah. Hard running on sand. Get you tired, also tired. Oh, but the bus is gone. I'm free of it. I'm alone now. That's right, mister. You and me. We're all alone. Sure, sure we. Hey, who are you? I'm Mr. Rat. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Desert Rat. I've been here 22 years. Fell off a bus just like you. And been wandering around ever since. Well, how? Why? Why don't you get out of here? Because once you jump off, there ain't no other bus will stop to pick you up. You're all alone. Hey! Hey, Mr. Wright! Yes, Freddy? Where are you going? Gotta keep wandering. Keep wandering. Keep wandering. The desert. Sand and nothing else for 22 years. Maybe another bus will pick me up. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped. Maybe it might have been better the way it was before I changed it. No. No, there is something else. A tavern. Come on, Freddy. Pick him up and lay him down. Let's get to those people. Oh, nice town. Got a road. One, two, three, about five buildings. Hey! Hey, anybody around? Anybody home? Well, there must be. There, in that saloon there. Oh, brother, could I use a drink? A beer, yeah, that's for me. Hey! Hey! Hey, what happened, everybody? What? Hey, no, no, stop that. Not that song, that's what I was playing when... Stop it, do you hear? Where are you? Through this door, maybe another room. Stop it, I said! Stop it! Oh, no. Oh, no, not again. A bus without a driver. A piano without anybody playing it. Just the keys moving by themselves. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here before I... Hey! Hey, somebody! Ain't nobody here! Ain't there nobody! Oh, there it is again. It's coming from that house now. That last one on the road. Maybe, maybe, maybe this time. All right. I told you to stop it, didn't I? I... Still nobody. Still. Okay, if you won't stop it, I'll stop it for you. You gotta stop it, you hear? You don't have to stop it. Hello, Freddy. You. Ah, oh, can't be you. Uh, you're, you're, you're dead. And what did you expect to find in a ghost town? But you can't be. Don't seem to like the music either. That sounded pretty good to you a couple of days ago. Want a drink, Freddy? What kind of a drink? A Mickey, like you and Joe gave Baker before you knocked me off. You shouldn't have done it, Freddy. I didn't have nothing to do with it, Smalley. Honest, it was Joe. Have a drink, Freddy. You must be awful thirsty. Nah, 
Uh-uh. I know I'm thirsty with that slug in my guts. Now keep away from me, Smalley. So why not? Let's have one together. A nice double Mickey. I said keep clear of me. You're scared, Freddy, aren't you? You're afraid of the dark and the desert and being here alone with me in a ghost town. Joe? Joe? When Joe isn't around, you get scared, kid, don't you? Too bad Joe isn't here to give you a little gumption. Fight me, Freddy. Get me, Freddy, or I'll get you first. No, honest, Smalley, honest. I ain't got nothing against you. We gotta, we gotta stick together here. It's, it's dark. And don't play with rats. I squash them. I keep away from me, I, I tell you. No. No. Where are you gonna run to, Freddy? There ain't no place to hide. Not here. I got a gun. Hmm. That makes you big shot again, don't it? I'll let you have it, Smalley. I swear I will. That gun sort of takes Joe's place, don't it, you weak livered little... I warned you. Have a drink, Freddy. With a Mickey. With a Mickey and... I didn't want to do it, Smalley. Not again, honest. I just got him before he got me, that's all. It's all mixed up. I don't know how he got here, but... I'm alive. Uh, luck's coming my way again. This time for good. I got a feeling. Lucky rabbit's foot, lucky penny, everything lucky. Lady Luck, she's on my side now. I see a car, a car outside, I hear it. Yeah. Moon Eye headlights straight at me. Yeah. Just hop a ride to L.A., I'll be okay. Hey, hey, you! Just wave my hands like this, he'll stop. Up and down, up, down, up, down. Good, good. Slowing down, I'm okay now. Lift, mister, lift. No, no. My bus with the right wheel and the style of driver. Bus number twenty-two checking in, Tom. Okay, Johnny, I'll take you. Yeah, I hear you had a little excitement. Excitement? Yeah, I guess so. What do you mean you guess so? You... Now, have a couple of murderers on your bus, and then you... Well, there uh, wasn't no excitement in it for me. What? You see, I wasn't there. They were all asleep when the bus broke down. There was no one to talk to, so after the tow car hooked onto the bus, I went up front in the tow car to chew the rag. Yeah, yeah, so? So nothing. When this guy wakes up, he went nuts. Started what? yapping about a murder and jumped off the bus. We had to chase him all through the desert, and he was so far gone, he didn't even see the tow car when we found him again. So what happened to him, then? He was nuts, I tell you, off his rocker. Yeah? Sure, we turned him and his buddy over to the cops in the next town at just about 12 o'clock midnight. A bus without a driver and a ghost town in the desert. Perhaps our two friends will make that same trip again and very soon when they make their final payment for their... Murder at Midnight. again when death takes the wheel on a lonely journey and the clocks strike 12 for murder at midnight. The part of Freddy was played by John Sylvester with music by Charles Paul. Murder at Midnight was directed by Anton M. Leader.